Number three of the things that I wish I knew sooner is the fact that there are different drying stages. I always thought that watercolors can be either wet or dry and that's it. But that's not the case at all. When you apply the watercolors to the paper, at some point they will start drying and this means they slowly change their stage in the drying process. They become less and less wet until they're fully dry. And this is super important to know when it comes to creating gradients or other wet and wet techniques because if the paint is already just even a little bit drier and you add new paint that is completely wet on top, you will create backgrounds because the wet paint will run into the less wet area and create this cauliflower effect that I keep talking about. That's why you need to work rather quickly to make sure your paint is equally wet or let the paint completely dry before you do any